all remember the lives lost and homes destroyed after a tornado ripped through Ringgold. Good evening, I'm Latricia Thomas. And I'm Dave Staley. Glad you're with us, everyone. Almost two years ago today, that tornado destroyed almost everything in its path. News Channel 9's Alyssa Sparato was streaming live from one of the hardest hit locations, Ringgold Middle School and High School. Alyssa, good evening. Patricia, Dave, you may wonder exactly why am I standing here on this football field here at Ringgold High? Well, let me tell you why. It's because this was the one of the places that was hardest hit by the tornadoes on April 27th. Now, the school has been rebuilt, and you can see we have this beautiful football stadium behind us, but the work is far from over. Ringgold, be with them. Oh, God, be with them. Just look like a war zone. Just having the Ringgold look like a war zone. It really did. A normal day at Ringgold Middle and High School turned into sheer terror. Just hours after students were released from school, disaster struck. But Dana Wilson, a biology teacher at Ringgold High, had no idea the result would be like this. People started texting us, are you okay, are you okay? We had no idea. Then we started getting texts that the school was destroyed and, you know, all of Ringgold was gone. And structure and shattered glass was the only thing the tornado left behind. Principal Sharon Vaughn remembers the day like it was yesterday. The first thing I did was go to the hallway where we had put the students that day to see what it looked like, to see if they would have been okay. And that hallway was fairly secure. Nothing else was, but that hallway was. Ringgold High lost two students that day. Chelsea Black and Adam Carroll died when the tornado tore through their homes. Vaughn says their memory will always live on in a place that had to start from scratch to build back up. Still to this day, I look back and I don't know how we rebuilt everything that we did in four months. I do not know how we did that, but somehow, with everybody's help, we did. Occasionally, it just comes up again for no reason or something sparks a memory and people talk about how they huddle together as a family and said goodbye to each other and said their prayers together and thought they would all be gone. Life is pretty much marked before the tornado and after the tornado, just like life is marked before the Kennedy assassination and after and before 911 and after. Um, that's the way life is separated now. Principal Vaughn says there's still some work to be done. They're actually building an auditorium and an art center, which the art center was destroyed by the tornadoes and actually devastated the students. Now we're told that will be done in the year 2014 or 15. Streaming live at Ringgold High School, Alyssa Sperato, News Channel 9. Thank you, Alyssa. And we'd like to remind you that being prepared for a tornado or other severe weather event is key. New Channel 9 held another weather radio event yesterday at Walgreens on Gun Barrel Road, where about 100 radios were sold. The next opportunity for you to get your weather radio and to get it programmed is Monday, April 29th from noon to 7 at the Walgreens on 25th Street in Cleveland.